Do you see what I see? The 24 different shades are here. And yes, we're gonna swatch them. Let's see if these are transfer proof. Lady Paul just launched their new Creme Rouge lipstick collection. And you know, my friends, I'm all crazy about lipsticks. It's perhaps one of my favorite, top, top favorite makeup product. And this was so unexpected. Completely honest with you, I didn't even receive an email, nothing. One day, I open my door, see a package, open it up, find this box by Clay Depot. And I'm like, oh my gosh, well, let's see what is inside. And when I see the note, the Clay Depot and clothes for your gift, please find the new Crème Rouge collection. So I take the little card and then I open it up. Do you see what I see? The 24 different shades are here. And yes, we're going to swatch them. <laughs> oh my gosh, thank you so much to Clay Depot for sending this over to me. It's super, super generous. And I think this will be super helpful for all of you, my friends, that have been eyeing this Creme Rouge lipstick collection, which again, it contains 24 shades in three different finishes matte, shine, and a sparkle. It also says that these luxurious liquid lipsticks have a moisturizing formula that delivers long-lasting, rich color. I have prepared my lips by exfoliating them, and that's it. I'm not too afraid to swatch 24 shades, mostly talking about Clé Depot, because I know they are quality, quality lipsticks. They are all made in Japan, 24 months of shelf life. And the way that I'm gonna swatch these lipsticks is First, I'm gonna go with the matte shades, which are a total of 12 shades, then the shine lipsticks, eight shades, and then at last, the sparkle lipsticks, which are a total of four shades. If you're new here to my channel, welcome. Welcome to all of you, my friends. I do film in natural light. It's a little bit of a cloudy, actually rainy day outside. I have the windows open so we can get as much light as possible. I will be putting all the details of each of the lipsticks here on the screen, as well on the description box below, along with the links for your convenience and easy shopping. And a big thank you to all of you, my friends, that decide to shop through my links. I greatly appreciate that support. And if you're not planning to shop and you're just browsing, that's okay too. Perhaps you can give me a like and that will help me a lot, a lot too. Okay, my friends, let's go ahead and let's start swatching these beauties. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so excited. Okay, let's go first. The Creme Rouge Matte Formulation. Richly pigmented color, creamy moisture. They come with 8 ml or 0.31 ounces of product. So this is how it comes, the box. And then on the very top, you have the name of your lipstick. And in terms of a component, they pretty much all look the same with the exception that the matte lipsticks, they come with this frosted, it's not glass, but it's heavy kind of acrylic. On the top, you have the emblem of Clé Depot, beautifully done. And let me show you that dot foot applicator. It's nice, kind of like, I always think about these dot foot applicators kind of like a LA kind of a slipper. And let's start with the first shade in the matte formula, 111 Chocolate Cosmos. At first impression, this is a very comfortable formula and I don't feel that it's too matte. In fact, it has more of like a natural finish. 114 Flame Lily in the matte formula. Cordeline. This shade is your perfect mauve. Oh, it's just so pretty. 112 Axora Peach Delight. What a stunning shade, mostly as we approach spring and summertime. It's a vibrant coral with a little bit of kind of like a neon tone to it. Very vibrant and exciting. And one thing I have to tell you that even though that formula is very thin, 
it does have beautiful opacity. My lips are very tinted and I cannot see the undertone of my lips. Another thing is that because of the type of formula, you can fade a little your lipstick. Mm. And I have not yet let them dry fully. We will try with the last one, but I want to see if they are transfer proof. I don't think so because they do have a lot of moisturizing ingredients. This is, like I said, I haven't let, let it dry, but we will try with the last shade. One hundred sixteen Lantana Tamara. Oh wow! Okay, this is super neon. This has a tone of pink with a hue of orange tone. A true, very vibrant coral, even more so than the shade before. One hundred eighteen Pink Perfection. Ooh, this is, yes, that very oh, gorgeous pink, little hint of a blue undertone. Beautiful. 118 Brescia. This is a well executed fuchsia tone. And you know what I love about this formula? Is that it's mousse like. It's, yeah, it has that mousse kind of texture very thin and after um well i don't need, i lost count of how many i have applied so far my lips are just doing completely fine 120 current there is a je ne sais quoi about this type of magenta shade that at least on my skin tone i absolutely love it it's different it's unique and you can rock it any time of the year and it's just so beautiful oh i'm obsessed with this shade 113 hibiscus rosa One hundred seventeen flamingo power. One of three legend of rouge. Each shade is your Parisian red shade. So easy to wear. Oh, mm, love this shade so much. One twenty one strawberry rhubarb. Another spectacular red shade. I don't know which one I like better, if this one or the one previous. I think this one perhaps is more of like an evening kind of red, at least for me, while the previous red is more of like everyday, if you wanna rock a red shade that is super easy to wear too. I mean, you can go either direction, but both of them are just stunning. And here you have them, the new 12 Creme Rouge Matte Liquid Lipsticks by Clé Depot. And now let's move on to the Creme Rouge Shine Lipsticks. Again, made in Japan, 24 months shelf life, 8 mLs, and they come with a total of 8 different shades. The Unicard pretty much is the same. The only difference in between the Unicards is that the name in the front it will tell you whether it is a shine finish or a matte finish see right there matte is at the end shine is right here at the end 201 calanth orchid in the shine finish this is your perfect nude with a hint of pink a touch of peach at the same time it's so even not to peach not to pink beautiful nude shade 206 Calandria. What a gorgeous shade. Oh my goodness. This shade is just stunning. Ooh. This shade is fabulous. Now, in terms of the formula for the shine lipsticks, they feel a lot more 
kind of balmy lip gloss hybrid super comfortable super nourishing you're gonna love this formula it's super 203 heliconia another stunning pink shade neutral of this shade so yummy springtime mm. 202 plumeria apricot this lipstick takes me to bora bora or a tropical paradise 205 cavilla Two of four maraca ginger this is a lip shade that i can see many skin tones can wear it because it has a little bit of nude it does have a little bit of pink it does have even a hint of terracotta in it that makes it just so perfect and a shade that it can go well all year round 207 musa ornata another fabulous tropical shade that is not super electric but it's just you know what this is miami <laughs> miami vibes this is tropical vibes imagine punta cana dominican republic yeah <laughs> this is it 103 legend of rouge in the shine version mm, so happy that we have legend of rouge in both the shine formula the one that i'm wearing right now and the matte formulation this is a winner shade this is just oh fearless confident black dress white blouse pristine chic this is that perfect legend of rouge a parisian legend and look at my teeth Super white. Oh. Fantastic. And one thing that I want to mention is that the shine formulation, although this is a liquid formula, it has some consistency. It doesn't feel goopy. It doesn't feel super thick. It's more dense than the matte formula. But at the same time, I'm not scared to put on this lipstick and be afraid that it's going to start bleeding everywhere because again it stays in place wherever you put it is where it goes one more thing is the doe foot applicator because it has this pointy kind of tip and it's very nice and bendable you can really even line your lips with it beautiful in terms of scent i don't smell any particular scent if anything not even floral is something very like fresh but it's not even a scent yeah not really a scent okay friends we are done with the creme rouge shine lipstick swatches here you have them all eight of them and the last formula is the creme rouge sparkles they come in four different shades made in japan 24 months shelf life the main difference is that the sparkle finish comes with 7.5 ml instead of the 8 ml that we find on the other two formulations and in terms of the component these ones are the matte formula these are the shine formula so frosted glass clear glass and then for the shine they are clear glass but you can definitely tell these are shiny they have sparkles here are all the sparkle shades together so you can really appreciate the shades and i will be putting even more images and videos on my instagram too 301 sweet nectar it has more of a dual chrome kind of finish i don't know if the camera will be able to really show you but it looks blue like light blue yellowy whitish there's some pink in it Oh, very, very interesting. I'm gonna swatch them no matter what, but honestly, I mean, you can see the sparkles and they are not heavy glitters, but you are most likely not gonna be able to really see the shade, at least of this one in particular, but I mean, I'm trying my best. There you have it. Oh, oh. <sighs> I can actually see it on my lips it has like a lavender kind of tone it's very pretty it makes my lips look 
powdery, juicy, kind of frosty. Trio to Mokara. Now, this shade has more of like a pearlized, peachy with some gold tones in it. Oh, this is gorgeous. I mean, all of these <laughs> are gorgeous. How to decide? How to decide? Now on this shade, you can notice a little bit more the sparkles, but I don't mind it because this shade alone or over top any kind of lipstick, it will make your lips look pouty, more juicy and fuller too. In fact, this will give you more of that if you put it over top, say a nude lipstick, it will give you that J-Lo vibe kind of look. Trio 3 Medinilla Magnifica. Now this shade has more of like a pinky tone. The first one had more of like a lilac tone. The second one more of like a golden peachy and this one more of a pinky tone. Trio 4 Ojia Legua. Definitely, I can see a little bit more. It does have pink, but it's not a school tone. It has kind of like a coral pink undertone. Mm, so beautiful. And you can see there's not that goopy feeling. Every single shade swatch in all three different finishes. What do you think about these lipsticks? I mean, I don't have to repeat myself. I love each of the formulations. The matte formula is super comfortable because it's super thin and it's non-drying. You will not find your lips feeling like they are raisins. After all those many swatches, I didn't even have to condition my lips again. They feel super moisturizing and they do not move. They are not transfer proof. So you will need to reapply them. The matte formulation, such a pleasure. One of the very few liquid matte formulas that I truly love. Now for the shine formula, it's such a pleasure. They are super shiny, vibrant, but one more time, they are not goopy. They are not the kind that you're that you feel so conscious while wearing them that they're gonna slip and slide everywhere and that you feel uncomfortable. I don't know if I'm explaining myself well, but sometimes there are certain liquid lipsticks, also satin lipsticks, that because of their formula is too dense and too thick, that you feel so conscious and afraid that it's gonna move, that you don't feel like, okay, this is a breeze to use, in the opposite side, the ones from Clay Depot, they are breeze to use because they have the perfect amount of pigment, density, opacity, not only on the shine formulation, but also on the matte formula. In terms of the sparkle formula, sometimes myself, I'm afraid about sparkle formulations because I don't like glitter, like a bomb of glitter on my lips, or I don't want a super metallic -y finish. These are not, these are more of like a lip gloss with this pearlized kind of effect that I feel that they are beautiful wearing them on their own because they don't add like color, like a lot of color, but just a hint of something. They make your lips look a little bit more pouty, more full, but also if you want to tap it on top of a matte lipstick, or even one of the shine lipsticks. I know you're not gonna be able to really tell right here. I try my best, but like I said, they are translucent with just a little hint of shimmer, but it's not, nothing rough, nothing that you're gonna feel on your lips, like, oh my gosh, this is a lot too much. In fact, while I had been removing the lipsticks, I don't find any traces of that shimmer, and again, is not heavy glitter at all and whatsoever. This video is not sponsored by Clé de Pau. I just wanna make that very clear. I'm just super excited. You know, my friends, how much I love lipsticks. It's once again, one of my favorite makeup products. And when I received this package, I just got super excited. I'm like, I wanna try them all on my lips. And what a better way to do it on this video because I'm sure 
or so I hope that this will help you to make a decision. If you were eyeing these new lipsticks by Clé de Peau, wanted to know the different kinds of formulation and also were wondering about the shades. I will have my foundation matches, the rest of my makeup, absolutely everything that you see right here will be on the description box below for your convenience. Thank you so much again to all of you, my followers, for your time and support and to Clé de Peau for the generous package. I mean, totally unexpected and I'm Again, very grateful for it. Okay, my friends, and now I would love to know from you which of all of these shades or how many <laughs> shades you're adding to your wish list or adding to car. Let's continue the conversation on the comment section down below. While you're at it, and if you haven't done so yet, I would invite you to subscribe to my channel. Make sure you ring the post notification bell so you miss any of my uploads. It will be amazing if you can come and follow me on my Instagram and TikTok because believe me, right there I keep you posted whenever there's a new release, a real stock alert, back in the stock, and also I create little reels, TikToks with quick swatches. So once again, I will highly suggest you to come and follow me on those two other platforms. If you like this video, if it helps you in any way, I please ask you to give it a thumbs up because that really helps me with YouTube telling everybody, hey, this video is really good, let's recommend it. So please give it a thumbs up, share with family and friends. And if you're not done watching my content, I will be leaving a couple other videos right here that I'm sure you're gonna love. Until the next time, I hope you have a beautiful, wonderful day. Bye-bye.